four. Eh, three, the other two, person is not one, pinging. Sixty-nine. And he is loading. Just fine. Get lucky then. Yeah. Well, maps indeed have uh, similar shapes. You're right. Indeed they do. <coughs> Some supplies here. Um, oil there can reinforcements pad here in the southwest. Oil or reinforcements pad in the northeast. Also an oil derrick there. Large supply pile. Used to be a supply dock. Some su small supply piles there as well. Artillery platform. Oil derrick in the middle. A some small supply piles down here. And a large supply pile in the smaller ones here as well. So we've got Syria Phoenix as Russia. J fine as uh, China. Corny Pop eating popcorn while watching Rise of the Reds. Pure cannibalism. <laughs> yes, indeed. Sir Phoenix building a Better barracks. Better go out on a hot day if that's the case. What? <laughs> I said better than go out on a warm day if that's the case. True. <laughs> yep. So Sir Phoenix uh, pretty much got a hold of the uh, south or the southwest already, sending out his conscripts to go capture the uh, oil derrick and reinforcement pad. I see a Mishka near the eastern uh, large supply pile already. I thought that this construction crane, yeah, is sending it out to the north. Well, his opponent may not have that much map awareness, but is building a Gatling cannon right there in the barracks. Remainder of cake of yesterday plus tea. I'm not eating anything at the moment, I'm just drinking water and I don't know why I'm putting up my water bottle as if I have my face cam on because I don't have my face cam on. Two Gatling tanks, I found the eastern expansion. Oh, but he just got a conscript in that building in time. Luckily. Which may be able to kill off one of them, though. Okay, this Mr. J Fine is doing pretty good, actually. He actually moved that Gatlin cannon out of the way rather than letting it get killed. He's doing J Fine. He's gonna build a uh, Gatlin cannon. Oh, he's catching him. So, to sell that barracks or quickly. Yeah. yeah, he should sell the barracks or just build a conscript and kill him. That works. He's doing both. Oh, he actually managed to shoot the scaffold of that Gatling cannon, which, uh, or, uh, it's gonna basically all the money of that Gatling cannon was lost. Uh -huh. He managed to kill one, give the, the Gatling, the garrison managed to kill one Gatling tank. Both of them. And the conscript that was trying to. Or the, yeah, but no, 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 the other one was killed by a BMP. Oh, yeah, BMP. And then he managed to kill, also kill the red guy that was trying to capture the oil derrick. So this engagement was pretty much a win for Sir Phoenix. Yeah, although he did lose his barracks up there. But with the uh, reinforcement pad now under his control, and the oil derrick soon to follow, he still has a hold on that position. Yeah, although the loss of a $500 barracks is not as great as the loss of, uh, of, of two Gatling tanks. Or three, and then probably four soon, and a Gatling cannon. Yeah, it's a good time. All together, probably <coughs> the price of five barracks, basically. In the north, in the meantime, it seems that Sir Phoenix has lost hold of the expansion there. He still has. Uh, he's going to get the reinforcement pad and the oil derrick for sure, and he's building a war factory there. He has a barracks there as well, and a cash tent. But the artillery platform and soon the oil derrick, alongside with the large supply pile, now belong to his opponent.
Would it be possible, to, this is just a question that literally just popped into my head, it, would it be possible for the cache tag to also have smoke grenades? Yes, although they wouldn't face the direction of the turret, so unless we make it fire around them in a spiral like the, uh, what's it called, the um, arena tower does, then there's really no much not worth pointing to it. Okay. Let's ask the question. First Kodiak has been dropped off. Two Battlemasters heading the way. My tea has to have rum and what do you need for me to drink it, says it. Oh yeah. Spell Trooper is not that effective against uh, tanks, dude. Not at all. Light vehicles, yes. Not like that. We need a bunch of grails or other grails, indeed. There you go. Hi, Shock Trooper. Well, it keeps bombarding the, the expansion here. And meanwhile, in the northeast, he just loaded up two BMPs with infantry, it seems. I'm guessing when he's going to rush in with those. What could be fun is that he would sneak them in the water around the map. Yeah, that's an option. This map, this, this map has plenty of amphibious options uh, available. Uh huh. Because there's literally no defense on the coast side here, you could just sneak in and go for the uh, com nope. uh, command bunker or command center and the uh, propaganda center. As he's currently building an airfield, could go for his economy there. And he's doing and that! He's doing exactly as you predicted. Nice! <laughs> Who's dropping out? Jafine is dropping out. Actually, nobody was dropping out. Okay. Doom has a strange look angle. What At do you least mean? on my end of the screen. What do you mean I have a strange look angle? Or is it just an optical illusion? I want to know what you mean, Dutchie. Explain it may be due, it, it, may, it may be due to gentle, said Dutchie, that he's further zoomed out. Yeah. I don't even see Doody, no. I have my face cam turned off. Do I? Yeah, I, I have my face cam off. Oh, our gunship is in the air. Sir Felix finally going for that oil derrick in the south. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, just imagine if you would send golems down in the water. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Surprise! Oh. Either his opponent was expecting it. Well that was sheer luck on the with that Gatling tank. There you go. Well, that one Gatling tank is not going to stop the BMPs from going in. No. Shock Trooper is nice. Oh yes. I was hoping there would be more infantry in those BMPs, but that will do. Uh huh. There you go. <laughs> nice using the smoke grenades to distract some, uh, some incoming rounds. Uh huh. Yeah, but no end here. Doesn't matter, if he can kill that command center, he's already done everything he needs to do. I don't think he's gonna succeed though, especially with the uh, flame hole now. Mm, no, no, no. Indeed he will not. Jayfan is having another lag issue. Yep. There we go. That was a fun uh, little tactic. 
Now do it again, except with golden tanks. <laughs> Hello, Luda. What he could also, what he could also do is actually get some miscas and load those up with Igla troopers and use them as a light into air because uh, miscas are also amphibious. Yep, they are. Oh, I'm seeing new cannons. Indeed. We have not seen those in a while. And Black Lotus has entered the field. I see it. It's uh, admiring the palm tree over there. Indeed. Hey Luna, I know you didn't really miss anything in particular other than a very slow match at the start, which uh -huh. wasn't all that interesting to watch. I'm seeing hunchbacks with their own some hunchbacks in the northeast. Let's have a quick look see the south here. Okay, just send out a recon missile to see what's up. Uh, it could easily bomb the airfield and the breeder reactor and be out before the uh, Gatling cannons have a time to respond. But I'm not sure if he's aware of that. I'm pretty sure he is, because he's heading right there. Right Looks like there. he is, he's going for the breeder reactor, I think. Well, the resulting explosion may actually take out the hunchbacks. Uh -huh. Hello, Marauder M. The only it didn't take him out, but they are severely damaged. He needs to move out to the airfield right now. And that seems exactly what he's doing. No. Yeah, okay. He's oh no, maybe he's gonna drop some bombs on the supply uh, thing before he goes, does that. He yeah. can afford it to do that. Uh -huh. There you go. Is that a Mistah that I see? Using a Mistah? Yeah, that's a Mistah bombarding the Gatling cannon. Uh huh. Another helipad in the uh, northeastern expansion, probably uh, for quicker repair of the uh, hunchbacks. Which did a phenomenal job. Absolutely. A lot of map control here. Oh, what's this? New cannon here in the west, southwest. Seems to have done some damage here. More bombs being dropped. Surprised that uh, Jiffine is not actually moving out with some Gatling cannons towards the north to counter those helicopters. Uh -huh. No, he's just uh, focusing on the uh, expansion over here, sending his new cannons in to destroy the barracks. Oh, I'm guessing that's the case then. Here comes a hind. Yeah, although that hind, that, that hind will destroy both those new cannons. It's very. Did he actually have some sort of escort with those new cannons? Because it doesn't look like he did. Show us the, the magazine in the helipad, please. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on that right now. <laughs> Where is it? I'd be surprised if you can find it. Oh, wait, I think I found it. It's like next. on the left. You have that blue barrel, and then there's a little uh, grey crate, and in between there's a little tiny thing. Is that the board mag? Nope. No. What? Oh. I'll give you a small hint, it's not on the exterior. Oh. But is it visible? Yes. Uh, I have to try real hard to actually see it. <laughs> no. If it's not on the exterior, the windows are not clear enough to look through it, or is it like underneath the H in the helipad? I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Wait. I want to find it. Meanwhile, a backfire strike took out the airfield. Yeah. And right severely field. damaged a war factory. There's no yep. Mac on the helipad. Says Mr. Kim. Yes, there is. I'm not. Uh... <laughs> yes, there is, Mr. Kim. There is a board Mac on the helipad.
Okay, well there's another holy pad over here. Oh, I just getting repaired. It's not on the Radio reactor being rebuilt at the main base. It's not for the exterior. Are you seriously rotating around the uh, helipad constantly still? <laughs> I need to freaking find that. Well, good luck. Wait, I think I see it. There's a little uh, little door on the back of the helipad next to the barrel. No. Right? No, wait. No. There's a sign on the thing. No. No. Like I said, it's not on the exterior. No, I thought that the door was transparent and you could see through that. And see the like on the No. Can you I'll do this off camera folks. <laughs> this is gonna drive me bonkers. Near the left of the H center part. Jump up here? Why you build a windmill? The windmill that never did anything to you. Never mind. I guess it was blocking the way. J5 needs to upgrade his stuff, although he doesn't really have the money to do that. So if he is just uh, spending nice a lot of money. Sir Phoenix is moving in with a bunch of Kodiak tanks. Uh, yeah, you can do it, uh, Soros. Go right ahead. Sentinels moving in. It's the Kodiaks are coming in from the north as well. So many free tanks. Yes. Free Kodiak every minute is quite a steal. Uh -huh. There goes the wolf factory. Data circle beneath the sea. Meanwhile, well, the bombing campaign has begun. Yep. Heroic uh, hunchback. Nice. Indeed. Although he, he, uh, the veterans he stats do not actually affect the damage of the bombs. It's only for the main cannon. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. And a four up because why the hell not? Yeah. Nice little. And j has, has given level. up. Yes. What does the drone near the firebase do? The drone near the firebase is nothing but a visual effect or a cosmetic effect to show that your firebase has been upgraded and then thus has more sophisticated targeting and the drone basically kind of symbolizes that, that the drone helps with targeting. Okay. Let us create a three-player free for flipping all of them. There should be uh, a bunch of new three-player maps on the official list that we could uh, pick from, actually. Okay. Okay, you close. First try. I think one is called like City Under Siege or something like that. Yeah, we'll do that one. <coughs> Okay, so has posted the picture. Let's see. Yeah, that's uh, that's indeed it. <laughs> Give me a second. I don't know if you guys can see it.
Oh my goodness. That is 